going on right now. I got my man Ron Allen here, lead designer for Days Gone. So we have a little couple questions that we're going to ask him. First question is, what brought about the whole change of the weather being actually kind of like a weapon that you can actually use on, on making your decisions with the missions? All right. Our um, world is based in uh, uh, the, Pacific, the high desert of the Pacific Northwest, and we have some crazy extreme weather there. So we wanted to emulate that in the game. And um, the, the dynamic changing weather completely changes the gameplay. So, um, you know, it, it can be snowing, um, it could be raining, it could be, you know, sunny and hot, um, cloudy. Um, all of that affects um, the, the world. It affects the population, like the colder it is, the stronger the, the freakers are. Um, there, there are more that come out at night. Yeah. So all of this totally changes the, the gameplay, depending on how you play. Okay. Also, we wanted to know, like, as a whole, when we first saw it revealed last year at E3, uh, we got a sense of it being like somewhat of a horde management type game where right. you have to manage the hordes that are coming after you. But we definitely get a different feel now after we see the second trailer where you can actually manipulate the hordes as well. Can you right. go into detail with yeah. that? So, um, the Horde um, is definitely more of an end game scenario. I mean, these guys are powerful, right? You n usually don't want to want to mess with them. So uh, last year we showed Deacon pretty much running for his life, right? Mm -hmm. And this time we're showing um, smaller versions of them, right? That you can come across all over the place and you can manipulate them, right? You don't have to do that, but you can use them as a weapon. Mm -hmm. And that's how uh, the systemic gameplay works. Oh, nice, in game. nice, yeah. nice. So, uh, Back when we saw behind the scenes of what you actually showcased, we definitely got a sense that there was different routes that you can take when actually going on certain base missions that you're actually accomplishing or trying to accomplish, I should say. Um, how much would that be effective in the game as far as deciding your routes that you take and how you approach right. going into the mission? So that's the cool thing is we, we're making the game for the, the player to play how you want to play, right? If you're the the stealthy guy, you can go in and stealth. If you're the guns blazing guy, you can go in and guns blazing. You can bring whatever weapon your favorite weapon's in, and it totally changes the, the gameplay for you. There's multiple paths. You can approach uh, missions any way you want, um, but we let the you know the player decide. I feel like you guys still have some a few surprises going on behind, but I kind of want to get an idea of Deacon. Can you go more in depth about Deacon himself as a character? Right. His mindset maybe as what's going on in this actual game that you presented to us? Right. So Deacon St. John is a, um, he's a, he's a drifter, he's a bounty hunter. And this is a set, our game is set two years after the, um, the global pandemic has wiped out most of the population. So he's had to survive in this for two years, right? And he's not the only one surviving, right? Mm -hmm. He's just part of a, his background being, a, you know, a, a part of the Outlaw Motorcycle Club um, has helped him survive. It's given him the skills that he needs to survive, but he's still honing in those skills. Mm -hmm. And um, so he's using his, you know, brutality and whatever to survive out in the field. Okay, last question. <laughs> you kind of left the big jaw dropping moment when we saw the bear and we kind of had a sense like something's going on with this bear. Can you indicate what was going on with that bear at that particular moment right. when at the end of the trailer? That is an infected, uh, infected bear. It's extremely nice. powerful and Got dangerous, that right? Uh -huh. Yeah, so you, <laughs> you, you don't want to let these guys know you're there because when you come across these things out in the world, they're rough. And so they're scared and we left it right at the end, of, you know, Leave it up to the player to figure out what to do. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Thank you. Right, I yeah, appreciate you. This is Anthony with Days Gone. Holler back at you.